are starting out seated today and I'll make sure that my wireless microphone is working. So cross-legged, so pull your right foot in and then your left. And that is how we are getting started. And we're gonna move slow and we're gonna start like that because we're gonna start out be developing a contemplative practice. All right, I don't know why my like piano's in the way today. Like it's really noticeable. Okay, so coming on to your mat, you're gonna pull one foot in and then the other. Now, if you need a little support to sit comfortably, you can use your blanket. Do you need a blanket, Tina? Oh, you have one. Like that. Great. Okay, so we're starting out today with your hands on your knees and you can connect your pointer finger and thumb. So remember when we connect pointer finger and thumb, we are connecting human consciousness with divine consciousness. And close your eyes and drop your awareness into your breath and come into this present moment. And we're going to do three breaths using the physiological sigh. So the physiological sigh is your body's natural way of releasing stress. We do it and most of the time we're unaware that we're doing it, but our body is so intelligent and it has the wisdom within. So if you just do a two count inhale, and then you do a nice big sigh on your exhale. Two count inhale. And then a big sigh on your exhale. One more, two count inhale. And then a big sigh. And then close your eyes if they're not. Let your breath move in and out of the nose. Notice this moment, your breath in this moment, your body in this moment, and the mind in this moment. Whatever the level of activity of the mind is, just notice that, be the witness. You do not have to do anything about it. And if the mind has a conversation going on, a stream of thoughts, remember thought is energy. Just allow those streams of energy thoughts to move through and you're just witnessing. And then opening up your opportunity for this moment to contemplate space. So when I mean space, I mean emptiness. You might notice that there is emptiness between the breath. At the end of the inhale, that space between the inhale and the exhale, linger there. And linger in the space after the exhale before you begin to inhale again. And then notice what is arising for you right now in this moment physically, mentally, emotionally. And we are just going to allow we are going to move away from any kind of resisting. So if uncomfortable emotions or thoughts 
arise, allow them, be the witness of them. Let those energy patterns move through you. Maybe it's your to-do list. Let those energy patterns move through you. If emotions rise up, again, let those energy patterns move through you. Experience them and let them move through you. And then we also want to notice if we have pleasant thoughts or thoughts and memories that we enjoy and pref prefer, if we start to cling and hold on to those, we want to release those and allow those energy patterns to also just move through. And what this practice can give us is a release from suffering. And then from there, we're gonna open our eyes and then move in a circle. Go in a nice, slow circle and as much as possible, staying very present. Again, not resisting or clinging to anything that arises, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical, right? There's a lot that can arise and then go in the other direction. Nice. Excellent. And then from there, we're going to inhale up, interlace the fingers and reach up above us. And then drop and open up the side body. Really reach. And then you're going to rotate. And then again, inhale up and interlace those fingers and reach, stretch and drop to the other side. Open. And lift and rotate. All right, we wanna move slow enough in our practice today so that we can stay in that contemplative state. Good, and then from here, we're gonna reach back with both hands behind you, take your legs up, and then move them side to side. And then holding the legs up like this, one leg comes up and connects right to the knee, and then you just kind of hold there and start opening up your hip. Okay, so here's what it looks like, you guys. I'm gonna take my socks off so you can see better. You are placing between the ankle and the heel. Do not go beyond the leg there. Do you see that? People do that all the time. They go like this. It's not a stretch. So you wanna go between the ankle and the heel. The bottom of the foot lines up to the outside leg. Good. And then from there, you rotate side to side. It's nice. Good, and then drop to one side so that that top foot can go to the ground. And then we lift and rotate. Oh, nice. Good, and then we release. Now we're gonna switch legs. So shake out your legs a little bit. If you had your right heel pull in, now pull your left heel in. We gotta do both sides. 
Uh, you know, for those of you who are high pitta, you like to move like vata pitta, they like to move, move, move. It's okay to slow down and do a practice where you can slow down once in a while. Relax your shoulders, hands on the knees, and then we move in a circle. Nice and slow. Take your time. You don't have to be speedy. So Vata people, you know, they have a lot of ether air, right? What do they do? They just like to move all over the place. Pitta people go in the other direction. Pitta people like to move, but they like to move fast. They're like race car drivers. Fast, fast, fast. They're fast and furious. Good. And then inhale up. Interlace those fingers. Reach. Good, and drop to the side. And then go to the other side. And rotate. I kind of had to reverse it there. Excellent. And then your legs are going to come up. And again, you go side to side. Okay, now feet come up. You're gonna do the other leg. So if you had this leg up this time, now you're gonna to switch to this leg. Okay, so you're gonna feel this in your glutes. Remember, you wanna have the bottom of the foot lined up with the outside of the leg. And then we move side to side. I love this. Good, and then you hold your foot down so that the foot goes to the ground and rotate. Nice. And then releasing out of that. Swing the leg around and you're gonna go into a crawling position. Now, when you go into the crawling position, your right leg is going to come up and go in a circle, go in one direction, then go in the other direction. Then extend that leg out, reach out, then take the leg. You're going to shift it over to the left leg and then press back and then lean. So you're pressing the toes anchor to the ground and you press back. Now, if you want, you can drop the right knee on the outside of the left foot. Totally up to you. You got it. And then release, come out of that. And then your other leg comes up, left leg, go in a circle. Straighten out that leg and then go in the other direction. And straighten out that leg, reach, take the leg across, curl your toes under, press back through your heel. And then you have the option of dropping that left knee on the outside of the right foot. There is another variation of that, this, but we're not gonna do it today. Good, and then release from there. Right leg is gonna reach and extend with the left arm, hold, pause, strong and steady. And release and do the other side, reach, strong and steady. Good, and release, right leg again. And you're gonna hold the right leg up this time as the left hand comes down and then push back three-legged dog, and then take that leg and bring it forward for a lunge, drop the knee. Nice. Then we're gonna lift up and rotate to the side. Extend your arm out. Drop the left hand to the ground, reach. Back leg comes up. 
swing the right arm around, step back, down dog. Drop down onto your knees and shift forward, half plank, lower. Then you're gonna lift, cobra, press back, down dog. Hold it. Ooh, and if you want to, you can walk out your heels a little bit. Oh. Drop back down onto your hands and knees. And now the left leg extends with the right arm and hold it. Right hand comes down, press back, three-legged dog. Step that leg forward, lunge, drop the back knee. Come up. Rotate. Right hand to the ground, lift your back leg up. Swing the arm around, step back down dog. Hold. Shift forward plank, modify to the knees, lower. Lift up. Take it back down dog. Good. Then we're going to look up at our hands and walk our feet in. Pause there. Forward fold. And then inhale up. All the way up. We're going to reach. Do a little bit of a sun salutation all the way down. Extend. Good. Step back. Right leg lunging. Drop the knee. Step back, down dog. Shift forward plank. Modify to the knees. Lower. And then lift up. Cobra. Keep your pelvis on the ground. Press back, down dog. Right leg steps forward, drop the back knee. Pause. Then step your back leg in. Add an extension. Fold. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, extend. And step back, right leg lunge. Drop the knee. This time, rotate. Reach your arm up. Swing the arm around. Step back, down dog. Shift forward plank. Modify to the knees if you would like to. Otherwise, lower. And lift. Take it back, down dog. Right leg steps forward. Drop the back knee and rotate. Swing the arm around and step your back leg in. Add an extension, fold. Inhale up, add a back bend here, open. Forward fold. This time step back, plank. Modify to the knees if you need to, that's fine. Lower, lift, cobra, take it back down dog. Right legs forward, warrior one, reach. Look 
So you're going to rotate, but you're going to rotate taking your left hand to the heart and then you just drop behind you. So right hand is behind you, left hand is at the heart. Feel your breath move in and out of the heart center. That will move you into more of that contemplative state. Then drop the hand that's on the heart to the ground. Swing around and step back down dog. Hold it. Shift forward plank. Modify to your knees if you need to. And then lower. Lift up cobra. Press back down dog. And now your left leg steps forward, warrior one. And rise up. Hold it. So we're going to add that rotation again. Now this time, you take your right hand to your heart. And then you look behind you towards the left hand. Keep your back heel down and bend that front knee. This is not that easy when you're adding this rotation. Then your right hand goes to the ground. Swing the arm around and step back down dog. Shift forward plank. Modify to your knees if you need to. And then lower. Lift cobra. Good. And then we're going to release back. Now, when you release back, you're going to go all the way back and then walk your hands to the right side and then really stretch that left arm out and turn your head to the right. And then walking your hands to the other side. So you're really reaching now with the right hand, turn your head to the left. Opening up the armpit. Good, and then coming forward, reaching forward. And then we're going to move into eight point pose. Okay, so what does that mean? You're going to lift up and shift forward. Drop your chin and chest down. Toes go to the ground. And then slowly lift up, Cobra. Then press back down, dog. Then the right leg's going to come up for warrior two. It's a wider stance and you're gonna line up heel to heel. Good. And then open up. Nice. Drop, bend. Okay, we're rotating again. So you're gonna take the left hand to your heart again. And now you rotate. Ooh, and wrap the arm around your low back and look up. Keep your back heel down. Then take the hand that's on your heart again to the ground. This should feel bigger because you're in a wider leg stance. Keep your back heel down, but if you need to ease it up a little bit for yourself, you can lift the back heel up. It's an option. And then reach your arm up or take it alongside the ear. Ooh, that's big. Swing the arm around and take it back, down dog. Shift forward, plank, modify to the knees or just lower, lift, cobra. And again, you're gonna press all the way back. 
Walk your hands to the right side, reach with the left hand, turn your head to the right. Now see if you can reach further than last time, really open up the armpit, pop up on the fingertips. So this hand, pop up on the fingertips and see if you can really open up that shoulder girdle. Then walk your hands to the other side, reaching even further now with the right hand, turning your head to the left. Then your hands coming in front of you again, and you're just gonna slink yourself forward, curl your toes under, drop chin and chest down, then lift up, cobra. Oh yeah, take it back. Now the left leg then steps forward for warrior two. And it's a wide stance, line up, heel to heel. So I know we're facing the other direction than you guys, but we are on the same leg as you. It's just the camera rotates us. Turn your head, look down that middle left finger. Wide stance. Wide stance. Good, now taking your back hand to your heart. All right, then your front hand wraps around your back. Turn, look up. Then dropping that right hand, the hand that's on your heart, to the ground. You can use a block here, you guys. I know we're not using them tonight, but you can. Then release that arm that was on your back up. Take it alongside the ear if you would like. Stay bent in that front knee. Swing the arm around. Step back, down dog. Shift forward plank, lower. Lift up Ujjanasana. Take it back, down dog. Then right leg now steps forward for Trikonasana. Line up now your front heel with the arch of your back foot. Take your hand on the baby toe side of the foot and then open right up. Now, if you don't have a block and you need to modify, come up just below the knee. All right, you can use a block though. So let's say Tina needed a block. She doesn't really, but... She puts it on the baby toe tie of the foot, side of the foot. And that's because we want to line up her torso with the front leg. Okay. Nice. Now the arm that's in the air is gonna release down and then you're gonna drop the back knee and rotate, reach behind you. Now I just shifted to the baby toe side of the foot on my front foot, totally fine. You can do that Then lift your back foot, bring it in, grab, pull the foot in, pull the heel in towards your glutes, yeah. Nice. Ooh, so Robin, you're, you've got this back leg. Look at how far back my leg is. You've got your back leg way up here like this. And so it's making you do this. You need to be way back here and then pull it up. So you actually, the weight on your knee is actually above the knee. Yeah. And then drop your, that's better, yay. Okay, and then release. Nice, step back, down dog. Shift forward plank. Modify to your knees if you need to, lower. Lift up Bhujanasana and pause here. Take a breath, inhale. Hold it at the top. Exhale, let it all out. 
and then push back down dog. And then the left leg then steps forward. We're going into Trikonasana again. Line up front heel with the arch of the back foot. You can use a block on that baby toe side of the foot and open up. Or if you want to, you can come up a little higher. It's no big deal. So you can use a block. Tina's using a block, but we want her torso to line up with her front leg. So we're staying away from leaning forward. There's a tendency there for people to do that. You guys don't do that. I have a class, I have one class that I teach at a gym. There's a lot of that going on there. So I usually will recommend if that's happening to you or you're leaning forward, you just need to bring your hand up a little bit so that it's easier for you to lean back. Keep drawing your navel in, try to get into the habit of paying attention to that Uddiyana Bandha, drawing the navel in. Then swinging the upper arm around. We're going to reach the back leg out. So just kind of move it back. So that would help to get your knee a little further back and then drop. And then we rotate. And now I am going to the baby toe side of the foot a little bit. That's fine. And then pick up the back leg. This is optional. But you want to be above the knee. Drop your hips forward. How's that, Tina? She's like, oh, this is my stiff side. Did you guys see I got a new banner? So one of my students gave that to me. It's the chakras. I love it. Although it depends on the system. Some other systems have different, different chakra system. And then from there, release. Good. And we're going to pull the back leg in. Bring it in. And then take it all the way down. Take it onto the ground. Good. Now you're going to grab the legs with your left hand. And keep your chest lifted and just rotate. Good. And then do the other side. So keep the chest lifted. Grab now with the right hand and rotate. Good, and then we're going to do Baddha Konasana, so feet together. And you want to pull your heels in. And you can definitely sit up a little bit higher if you would like. I like that. Just make sure you're right on the edge so your sit bones go right on that blanket. And your pubic bone can drop forward. And then you pull your heels in, grab. Drop your knees down so you can take your elbows on the knees. Chest is lifted, chin down, and drop. Good, and then release. Okay, we're gonna do double pigeon. So it doesn't matter which leg you do first. I'm starting out with the left leg in front. So it's right leg for us, but they think it's left leg. So left leg in front. 
And then you're gonna take your other leg right on top. Now, if this does not work for you, you can use a block. Can you throw me one of those blocks? So you can use a block, just take it in front, place your foot there, okay? But if you are able to do double pigeon, you are lining up the knee with the ankle and the heel on one side. And then again, the knee with the ankle and the heel on the other side. So it's big, it's a big pose. Good, and we're gonna rotate towards the knee, the top knee. And then rotate towards the top foot. So move your foot a little further that way. There you go. That should be a little bit more of a stretch for you, yes? Is that okay, Tina? Not to do with pigeon. <laughs> That's all right. And then, so you can modify this also by taking your bottom foot and bringing it closer to your hip. That's fine, you guys. And then drop in front. Ooh. Oh, hello, hips. Ooh. And move into that contemplative state, just like we started our practice today. And you're noticing what is arising in this moment. Mentally, physically, emotionally. And remember, it's all energy. So the energy behind the thought patterns, the energy behind the emotions, we're just allowing them. And then lifting up, okay, shake it out. And then we switch sides. So now you switch, do the other side, okay. All right, now remember you can modify by pulling the heel a little closer to the hip or taking your foot out here onto a block. Nice, ankle, heel, knee, ankle, heel, knee. And we rotate towards the top knee. That side's a little better. Does it feel like it? She's like, no. <laughs> and then rotate towards the foot. And then we drop down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. So just so to go forward, pull the bottom heel in towards your hip a little bit so you could just drop a little lower on the, yeah, there you go. Relax your head. Yeah, that's better. Breathe into those hips. Woo. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And again, moving into that contemplative state, what's arising, whatever it is, we allow it. We allow whatever is in this moment to be experienced. It is such a valuable practice because it will help us be free. Free of all those samskaras. And then slowly coming out of that, shake out those legs. And we're going to take it onto our back. And drawing the knees into the chest. Then moving into bridge. Hmm. 
and then releasing down. The pelvis goes down, arms out to the side, legs up, drop to the right side, look to the left. Yay, there you are. I heard from Helga. She left me a message. Oh, good. Yeah, I sent her pictures. And then take your legs to the other side and reach your arm out. Oh, that feels so good. Doesn't it, Tina? <laughs> All right. And then from there, we're going to go back into another bridge. Lift up. And then release and set yourself up for Shavasana. Ah, oh, okay. It is cooler. So definitely put some socks on, put a sweatshirt on. However you need to be comfortable, get yourself comfortable. All right. And relax. All right, and begin to deepen your breath. Slowly roll to your right side. And then bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together and connect your thumbs to your heart and close your eyes. And once again, come into this moment. Notice right here what is in front of us. What's in the breath? Notice the mind. Mm. 
Notice if there's any energy patterns around how you feel. And notice if there's anything physical that you feel. Allowing all of these different patterns of energy to show up if they do. Not resisting or clinging. Just be empty. And once again, moving into that space. And you might notice the emptiness in the spaces between the breath. And you can linger there and, and hesitate in that breath. In the space between breath. And may you have a wonderful evening. Namaste.